All right, everyone, welcome to my second video of this Nissan Maxima. This is Nathan here again. 2001 Nissan Maxima GLE, 132,000 miles. We're gonna take this car for a drive. Let's give you a little quick, quick walk around real fast. Just made a whole separate video of me uh, going around this and showing the inside, outside engine compartment, talking about all the recent service. So check that out on my channel as well. If you're interested in the car, my phone number is in the description and the uh, comments down below. Uh, feel free to call, call me, text me, whatever you like. Uh, if you have any questions or you're interested, um, it's a nice, nice car and it's had many new parts. So you can see exact condition, like the little bit of wear on this seat, but exactly how nice it is in the other video. So take a look, uh, but 132,000 miles. Many, many new parts, new tires, new front brakes and rotors, new complete strut assemblies all the way around. So it drives fantastic. And we're going to go do some of that right now. It's a great car for the price. It's a great car for first time driver. It's easy to drive, easy to see out of. And the best part is 132,000 miles. When you do the math on the age of this car, even at a normal, reasonable 12,000 miles a year, this car should have like 252,000 miles. You know, basically 250. It should have 120,000 more miles than what it does. So this is definitely low mileage and nobody's going to tell me any different. <laughs> So we're going to drive on these uh, city streets right here um, and then we'll go for some freeway driving so you can jump around my video here and see a little bit of both. It runs great, it shifts great, <clears throat> everything works, air conditioning works, cruise control works, uh, all the electrics and features and functions work correctly not was not a smoker's car so it's very clean and nice in here it smells nice also just had a new air filter um, high pressure power steering line alignment a couple new tires the struts and oil change and then recently had a starter alternator spark plugs so a lot of new parts in this car to definitely make it uh, very, very worthy for a new owner and uh, someone to just be able to start driving it immediately and enjoy it. <clears throat> this is, uh, for those of you that don't watch the other video, this is a aftermarket, but very nice uh, gray leather steering wheel cover that I picked out for this car because the original factory leather on the steering wheel here underneath this does have a little bit of wear and discoloration. So put this steering wheel cover on here, makes it a little thicker, which is kind of nice. It's more to, more to hold on to. This being a GLE, this has Bose sound system and automatic climate control along with the sunroof and the leather being all standard and power seats. <clears throat> I think I mentioned on my other video that this probably rides better and has less strut and shock noise than when it was new because of course these being brand new right now are current technology as opposed to the original ones that of course at this point would have been 20 years old so this probably rides and sounds better than the originals when they were new <clears throat> Five miles an hour, nice and straight, true. It doesn't pull or anything weird. I mean, a little bit because we're on a city street, but out on the freeway, it's nice and straight, no pulling or anything, 
anything on. The brakes are nice and smooth and clean because they're brand new. <clears throat> Busy day. I'm gonna lower this for a second. <laughs> All right. Got the friendly old police that I don't know what they think about me driving and videoing, but I think I think I'm a better driver doing so because you're paying attention to everything. Speed limit's 35 on this road, so we'll keep it there. I'm going to go just a little further up this road and then uh, take a short break, and we'll resume some highway driving, some freeway driving at higher speeds. Thanks for watching, and thanks for uh, your subscriptions or any comments or suggestions that you'd like to leave. Very welcome to any of that, whether it's positive or negative. started making videos I had a bad habit of chewing gum and I didn't realize how much I was smacking my lips on the video until someone pointed it out so I don't chew gum anymore <laughs> I think we'll pause right here and resume with some freeway driving so stay tuned and again thank you for watching be right back all right here we are resuming with some freeway driving in a second uh, turn down the climate control here I'm gonna get on this state route 161 it's freeway speed so take a few miles drive down here to show you how nicely this maximum does on the highway and freeway as I said in the first video great pickup and acceleration from this V6 it's not a race car but it's different than a four-cylinder it's just got nice power to get up to speed 222 horsepower to be exact but it still gets 27 miles to the gallon on the freeway so really not bad at all fuel mileage not quite as good as a four-cylinder but um, still not bad at all be a little busy today but we'll take a few miles drive down here and a few miles back <clears throat> it drives really nicely there's uh, no shakes or shimmies or anything with braking or alignment it's all nice and straight and true and tight just like it should be all right, you had your chance to get over Honda CRV. So here we are, 75 miles per hour right there. Nice and straight. It's a little windy today, but it's not pulling. There we are. I let my hand off the wheel. It's drifting a little bit to the right because it is pretty windy. But drives drives real straight. Just set the cruise control. So cruise is set at 76 miles per hour. No feet on the pedals. Accelerate on the cruise up to 80. So cruise works like
like it should. Gonna turn off the cruise control now. didn't watch the other video, then we're going to do a little pop quiz right here. Does anyone know what the AMB button is on the climate control? I joked on my other video because in all my years, I, I know there's a lot of people that don't know what that means, but it stands for ambient air temperature. What's the temperature outside? So it says 65. So it's just kind, kind of comical to me because a lot of people didn't know what the button was for many years that owned these cars and uh, not a lot of people refer to the outside temperature as the ambient temperature. All the newer cars nowadays just say outside temp or out T or out T-E-M-P or something like that. off here in about a half a mile and turn around and come back the same way so you can skip around all you like but just doing some nice freeway cruising in this car Pelotonia It is a bit windy today, so you might hear a little bit more wind noise than you might normally hear, because it is, it is pretty windy. The new struts on this car made the ride just so much better. Unbelievable difference with new, new strut assemblies. Brake pedal is nice and high with those front brakes being new. It's, that's great. It engages immediately. I don't remember if I already said this on this video, but this was not a smoker's car. Not a smoker. So um, nice and fresh and clean in here. It was also just detailed, so it's all nice and nice and clean. <clears throat> Windows, glass, glass, nice and clean. All right, here we go. We're gonna take a stroll back the same direction on this freeway. miles. How many miles do you think that Honda right there has? I bet it has more than 132. <clears throat> same, that Honda is about the same age as this Maxima.
pretty new Honda. And the BMW is going very slow in the left lane. started here and conclude right about there thanks for watching I really do appreciate your watching I do appreciate your comments so please leave those as well and of course appreciate subscriptions if you like my videos I enjoy to talk about the car. I feel that every car has a special and unique history and something about it that makes it really different than the next. And I guess that's what really makes cars so interesting is no two are the same when they're made new and no two are the same as they get older in life. But besides all that, this, uh, this is a nice car, nice Nissan Maxima, really great reputation and reputation of, of longevity and low cost of ownership and all of those things and good fuel mileage and definitely a great car for a first time driver at least I think safe nice size you know airbags anti-lock brakes all of that definitely uh, manageable to drive and comfortable so um, yeah Thanks for watching. Take a look at the other video. Uh, you'll be able to get a complete look around at the car and inside, outside, engine compartment, all of that. Um, but this is uh, this is a great car, and uh, I'm sure someone will enjoy it very, very much. Thanks for watching, and again, please uh, leave comments or suggestions anywhere you like on this video or anywhere else on my channel. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.